Hockey Stage 3 Level 4 Questions based on past exam papers Right, coordinates Coordinates in the first quadrant This is X, and this is Y and these coordinates have actually been given to you. The point K is halfway between Q and R. So halfway between Q and R is the point K. What are the coordinates of the point? That should say K then, shouldn't it? So, this is the X coordinate and it's 6 for Q and 6 for R. So it must be 6 for K as well. This is the Y coordinate for R and that's 1. This is the Y coordinate for Q and that is 5. So that will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that must be 3. So that's the coordinates of the point K. The shape PQRS is a rectangle. What are the coordinates of the point S? Well, the X coordinate must be the same as the X coordinate for the point P. And the Y coordinate must be the same as the Y coordinate for the point R. Listing the outcomes. Is this... Well, it's a sort of listing the outcomes. There are seven different ways to make eight pence with coins. Complete the table. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? The first way is to have all eight coins as penny coins. Another way is to have six one penny coins and one two pence coin. So let's carry on doing the different way with two pence coins only. So let's put a naught there. So if we had two two pence coins, that'd be four pence, so we need another four of them. So if we had three two pence coins, that'd be six pence and another two of them. Or in fact we could have all four two pence coins and no five pence coins and no one pence coins. Now let's work with the five pence coins. Let's have one five pence coin with three penny coins. Or one five pence coin, one two pence coin, and one one penny coin, and that will still make eight pence. This is called being systematic, working through things systematically, rather than jumping all over the place. It's usually more efficient. Televisions. Jones's Electrics sells high definition TVs for £1,240. Or you can do it by an £800 deposit and four equal monthly payments. How much is each monthly payment? So that is the full price of the television. If we pay £800 deposit, that means if we subtract this, we see what if we've still got left to pay. 0 take away 0, 4 take away 0, 2 take away 8 can't do borrow, 12 take away is 4. So we've got £440 left still to pay over 4 equal monthly payments. So now we're going to do a division and divide by 4. 4 into 4 goes once, 4 into 4 goes once, and 4 into 0 goes 0. So the answer is £110 per month, each month, for 4 months. Measurement. David needs to put 1 litre of water into a bucket using a 500 milliliter jug. 
Now this all stems on the piece of information how many millilitres are there in a litre. So you're expected to know that there is 1,000 millilitres in one litre. You're expected to know that. So two jugs would in fact be the one litre. Therefore he's going to use two jugs. Because the question says explain how he does this. Put one litre of water into a bucket using five millimetre jug he'll have to use two jugfuls. Got some different shapes here on a square grid and each grid is one centimetre by one centimetre therefore each square is one square centimetre. Which two have the same area as A? So let's have a look at A. That is one square centimetre. There's another square centimetre. Put those two together and that will be three square centimetres altogether. So we're looking for another two diagrams, another two shapes, that also have three square centimetres. Well B does, one, two, three, so B, and I reckon it's this one. There's one, there's two, put those two together and that would be your three. So B and E have the same areas, A, They've all got three square centimetres. Which two have the same perimeter as A? Now perimeter is the distance around the outside. Now around the outside of A is one, two, three, four centimetres plus these two diagonals. Now they're not centimetres, that's more than a centimetre. I don't know what it is. And I don't need to know what it is, because I can just say one, two diagonals. So I'm looking for another two shapes that have one, two, three, four centimetres and two diagonals. One, two, three, four centimetres and two diagonals. So D is one of them. One, two, three, four centimetres and two diagonals. So E is another one. So D and E have the same perimeter as A. How many of shape C would you need to cover a 10 by 6 square grid? Now how big is this grid they've given me? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. 2, 4, Six. So in fact the whole grid is 10 by 6. So how many of them do you need to fill this grid? Well you can actually draw them in. Or well, think of it like this. To go across the page I can see that I'll need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. To go up the page I'll need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I need six rows, each with five in. One, two, three, four, five in a row, and six of those rows. So I can actually work it out by doing that. So I need 30 of C to fill the whole grid. 